my lovelies. I hope you're all well. So today we've got another knife blade project, but the great thing about this is it doesn't have to be a knife blade project. You can cut it in any material you like. I'm going to use chipboard, I'm going to use basswood, and I'm also going to use some pattern paper as well. I'm going to use some paints and things as well in between that. But I just wanted to be able to show you that you can do projects that you can use for anything. It doesn't just have to be specifically the rotary blade or specifically the knife blade. This is going to be a community project. I am going to share it. I've actually made the owl using just shapes alone. So there's no access images, there's nothing in here. So if you haven't got access, it, you don't need to change anything, just log in because everything is just shapes. The great thing about this project is you can change the size on it, you can add things to it, you can take things away, it's completely up to you. As I say, I'm doing it as a clock, but you don't have to do it as a clock at all. The only thing I will say is if you are going to do it as a clock, you want to actually come in and measure your clock pieces and just make sure that your hole aligns and that your handles are going to sit correctly as well. I actually ordered a clock piece that the handles are quite large so I've actually had to cut the handles down and then sand them. Uh, so you do want to kind of work all that out before you order your clock piece. But as I say, it can be whatever you want it to be. So I just want to talk to you very quickly about timings. So my owl frame in grey, I'm going to cut in chipboard. Now chipboard will always be 20 passes and this has a cut time of 19 minutes. However, with chipboard, with all of the woods, but especially with chipboard, it's not uniform in its cut times. So when I say cut times I mean the amount of passes it will take so for example sometimes it will be ready at 12 passes sometimes it will be ready at 15 passes sometimes it will be ready at the full 20 passes so you do want to stay around your machine and you do want to be checking it every few passes just making sure that it's not completely cut that it's not coming away and if it is then you obviously want to unload it early everything else apart from my numbers and my heart are going to be cut in bass 1 16th so bass will always be 14 passes and again you want to constantly check it just make sure that it's not kind of finished early and it's not coming up from your mat and this is a cut time of 22 minutes you can have everything the same color you can have everything cut out on the same mat different mat it's as I say completely up to you so you can see that I've changed the colors on everything so I'm going to go to make it and as always you're going to want to come in and play with your canvas work out where it's going to sit especially if you're using wood because of course you can only have 11 inches in width if you're using chipboard but of course balsa and bass is going to be thinner so you are going to want to sit and work it all out once you've done that you can then go to continue so on this occasion I'm going to cut square number one using the Cricut 2mm chipboard. My numbers will just be in vinyl. I'm going to use a light patterned paper for my heart. I'm just going to cut that out in light cardstock because it's not card but it's not paper and that kind of works for what I'm using. And then this one I'm going to cut in 1 16th basswood.
So you can see that I've got all my pieces cut out now. So I've got my chipboard out and then I've got all my basswood bits. As I said, you can cut this out in any material you like. I've got my clock mechanism here. I just got this from Amazon, but you can get them from a wide variety of places. Now it is worth measuring them before you order them. So I ordered this one and actually it was for a big clock. Um, so so I've had to go in and like snip the ends off and then just sand them slightly and also as I said the circle you want to kind of measure as well you want to measure this white bit uh, because that is obviously going to make the circle that sits in your owl so that is going to vary slightly so you do want to kind of look at your clock mechanism before you buy it and work out exactly how it's going to fit into your owl but of course you don't have to do a clock and you can just have wood or card or just fake hands on there I wanted an actual working mechanism though so I've got some thin pattern paper here and I will link to it in the description below. Now I'm going to use it to decoupage my owl with. You can see that my owl is obviously a lot bigger than these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to place them side by side. So it will then cut out my owl shape and I'll then be able to piece them together. Um, and it'll just look really nice I think but you can of course decorate your owl however you want to you can paint it you can use decoupage paper uh, there is so you can vinyl it there's so much that you can do you don't need to do anything with your owl at all you're just changing it from cutting it in chipboard or whatever you're going to cut it in to then paper or again whatever you're going to decorate it in but the actual owl itself will stay the same so that's now cut out, so I'm just going to come in and just gently remove my paper. We've just got a little bit there, so we're just going to take that up. And then we've got our circle, so we're just going to remove that. And then we can just come in and just remove the sections and we'll be able to easily piece them back together. So there's a few options if you're going to decorate it this way you can do, you can do washi sheets, I mean you can paint it, it's completely up to you. So you can either go in and glue your paper on using some deco patch, I'm actually just going to use some Mod Podge today to glue it on and then I'm going to cover it in my deco patch to give it a nice varnished finish. So I'm just going to come in and cover my owl completely with Mod Podge. all dry so I've got my deco patch glossy so I'm going to go in and do a nice thin even coat of that and it'll just give it a nice sheen and it will also seal my pattern paper as well is just about ready my decoupage is all dry and I've just varnished the wings and the bottom set of eyes and then I've come in and I've just painted these I've painted his beak as well so I've got my other heart which I've just cut out in some similar cardstock just a different pattern and again I'm just going to glue that on using Mod Podge and then I'm just going to go over it with some of the deco patch and then I can just add my vinyl numbers on as usual. <laughs> 